Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this scarf. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a yarn color of your choice, a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook. It's also optional if you'd like to purchase some buttons. If not, you can close your collar scarf with a brooch. This is the crochet hook size I'll be using. I'm going to leave a little tail behind and I'm going to begin my project over this area. I'm going to grab my crochet hook, cause a little bit of tension, and twist it and then rotate it all the way around. Now with this hand I'm going to hold the short little tail I'm leaving behind and with this other hand I'm going to be using it to pull my main source of yarn. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through that first stitch. So there I have two stitches. I'm going to continue my chain until I reach 72 stitches. I completed my chain of 72. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to count backwards two stitches. I'm counting this one as one, this one is two, and here's my third one. I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there, grab that main source of yarn and pull it in through there. And there's my three stitches. I'm going to now wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three stitches. Now I'm going to be making a chain of two. I'm counting this one as one, and two. So now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go back to my first chain of 72. I'm going to skip the following stitch and go into the next one. Place my crochet hook in through there and bring that yarn in. Again there I have my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through my three little loops. Again I'm going to count a little chain of two. This one I'm counting as one and two. I'm going to again wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, skip the stitch that follows and go into the next one. And basically I'm going to continue this pattern until I get to the opposite side. Once you've gotten to the opposite corner all you're going to do is wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and go into that last stitch, grab that yarn and just pull it through. There's the three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So here's my corner. What I'm going to do from here is two stitches. I'm counting this one as one and two. So now I'm going to flip my project this way so that I can start crocheting now going that way. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I think I'm going to have to get you guys a little bit closer for this so you guys can see exactly where I'm going to be placing my crochet hook. Now. Down here, there's one stitch, two stitch. I'm going to place my crochet hook into the first one. So I'm just going to go straight in there. And I'm going to grab that yarn and pull it through. So there's my three little stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through my three little stitches. Now, what I'm going to do from now on is three stitches. I'm counting this one as one, two, and three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and instead of going into the top stitch I'm going to go into the lower stitch and I'm going to go into the first one. There's two little stitches just like we did here. There's one, two. I'm going to be going into the first one, the one on the right. So I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there, grab that yarn, pull it through. There's my three little stitches my three little loops, I'm going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and just bring it in through there. Again, I'm going to count three. One, two, three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm not going to bring it in to the top chain. I'm going to bring it into the lower chain. There's two sides. I'm going to go into the right side, the first one. And I'm going to bring my yarn in through that stitch, pull it up, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. There's my three little stitches. I'm going to bring it in through my three little stitches. So again, a chain of three. 
wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, skip the top line, go into the bottom one. There's a right side and a left side. I'm going to go in through the right side. And I'm going to continue doing this until I get to the opposite side. I'm ending my second line and the way I'm going to end my second line is I'm going to finish off with a chain of two. I'm counting this one as one, two. Now I'm going to count one and two and I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there. First I'm going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and place it in through that second stitch. Grab that yarn, pull it through and there's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. Now I'm going to flip my project again so I can start crocheting the opposite way. So I'm going to fix my yarn. I'm going to now wrap the yarn around my crochet hook to make a chain of two. I'm counting this one as one and two. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and remember we're going to ignore this top braid. We're going to go directly to the one under. So here you can see a right side and a left side. I'm going to place my crochet hook in through the right side. Grab that yarn, pull it through. There's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through my three little loops. Now from here on, I'm going to make my chains of three. Again, just like we did the previous row. This is row three. We're beginning row three. I'm counting this one as one, two, and three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to ignore this top one and go into the following lower one and there you could see the two stitches, the one on the right, the one on the left. I'm going to place my crochet hook in through the one on the right and I'm just going to bring my yarn in through there. There's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three little loops. And again I'm going to make a chain of three. I'm counting this one as one, two, and three. Let me pull my yarn a little bit. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to be placing my crochet hook not on this top line on the previous row one. So there's my right side and my left side. I'm just going to place my crochet hook in through the right side. Grab that yarn, pull it through and there's my three little loops. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through my three little loops. Again a chain of three and just basically continue with that pattern. I'm ending row three and I'm going to be ending all my rows the following way. I'm going to be counting a chain of two. I'm counting this one as one and two. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to count three from now on. One, two, and three. And I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there, grab that yarn, pull it through. There's my three little loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring my crochet hook in through there. So now from here what I'm going to do is a chain of two and I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing to all my rows. I'm counting this one as one and two. Now I'm going to flip my scarf going the opposite way now and I'm going to make a chain. Well I already made my chain of two. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. Remember always ignoring the top one going into the previous one and there's a right side and a left side. I'm going to be placing my crochet hook in through the right side. Grabbing that yarn, pulling it through. There's my three little loops. I'm going to bring the yarn in through there. Now from here I'm going to be making a chain of three. Counting this one as one two and three. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, ignoring the top row, going into the lower row, a right side and a left side. I'm going to place my crochet hook in through the right side and bring that yarn in through there. There's my three little loops. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three little loops. So I'm just basically going to continue doing the same exact thing until I reach 19 rows. After finishing your 19 lines, this is what your scarf should look like. You can see here that it's rounded and it goes all the way to the opposite side, rounded as well. So I'm going to place the camera a little bit close up so you guys can see what a beautiful pattern this is. As you can see here, there's one line above the other and then if you look in the center, the same things going on but on a lower level. So the pattern is just absolutely beautiful. What we're going to do now is we're going to finish off this project. I've just ended my final row. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip my scarf to start crocheting the opposite way going that way now. And I'm going to adjust my needle 
And what I'm gonna do here is a chain of five. I'm counting this one as one, two, three, four, and five. And now I'm gonna go to this chain here, what we left behind. I'm gonna count four stitches just this first time. So here's one, two, three, and four. There's my fourth stitch. I'm not going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm just gonna go directly into that fourth stitch, grab that yarn, pull it through, and I'm gonna put this loop into that loop. And there we have that nice little loop left behind. Again, I'm going to do a chain of five. So I'm counting this one as one, two, three, four and five. I'm not going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. What I'm going to do here is that in between each of these stitches is three stitches. So here you see one, two, three. On all of them I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to be placing my crochet hook into the center one. Place it in through that center one, grab that yarn, pull it through. Now I'm going to be placing this stitch into that stitch. And there I am again with the with a single stitch, ready to start another chain of five. But look at how that ends, just so nice and wavy. So I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing until I get to the opposite side. I'm ending to the second to the last stitch. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to count one, two, and I'm gonna place my crochet hook in through there, grab that yarn, pull it through, now place this stitch into this stitch, just because I want it to end evenly on the last row, just as it did on the opposite side. So from here, I'm gonna do another chain of five. I'm counting this one as one, two, three, four, and five, and I'm going to place my crochet hook counting four stitches. So I have one, two, three, and four. There's the fourth one. I'm going to directly place my crochet hook in through there, grab that yarn, pull it through, place this one into this one, and make my yarn nice and long. And now I'm just going to cut over this area. Now what I'm going to do is place my fingers through the big loop and place the tail in through the loop and just press as tight as I can. Now I'm going to grab my crochet hook, go in through that stitch, place it in through there, grab that yarn, pull it through, and I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through that little loop and just all the way. And now I'm just going to press one more time, press. Now from here, what I'm going to do is a knot again, placing my crochet hook in through there and pulling it through. Now remember that you can end your projects however you feel is best. I'm just going to make a little knot over this area. Nice and tight knot. Now I'll just be cutting off the two sides. Remember you have the little tail we began with. I'm going to do the same exact thing I did to finish off the opposite side. So that's what the trim looks like. This is where we ended. This is the back part and this is the front part. So now all you'd have left to do is to either sew on the buttons you've chosen for your project. I chose these here. Or you can also just close your scarf with a brooch. If you decide to sew on your buttons, I would recommend trying on your little scarf and just adjusting it to exactly how you're going to want it. There's several ways of sewing your buttons. For this one, I crossed it from the top and I want it to fit or end in a V shape, just as you see there, like that on the bottom area, so that the trim shows on the bottom side and then on both sides as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my buttons and I'm going to adjust them to the areas where I'm going to want to sew them and I'm going to want to add three buttons over those areas. So I want it to be nice and even and what I'm going to do here now that I know exactly where I want my buttons I'm going to get a safety pin and I'm going to lift up this area and I'm going to place my safety pin over that area. That way I know I have to sew my button in exactly that area. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to all three of my buttons. Another tip I can give you is make sure that your buttons aren't so big so that they can easily fit through the stitch of the scarf comfortably without any trouble. So that's just a couple of tips I wanted to give you about sewing on your buttons.